Have you ever wondered what space sounds like? In movies, spaceships roar and lasers blast, but in reality, space is eerily quiet. It's a vast, silent expanse where sound as we know it cannot exist. But why is that? What makes space so different from our noisy planet Earth? The answer lies in the fundamental nature of sound and the unique environment of space. Unlike light, which can travel through the vacuum of space, sound needs a medium to carry its vibrations. Without a medium, like air or water, sound has no way to travel and our ears have nothing to hear. Let's dive deeper into how this works. Here on Earth we're surrounded by a sea of air, a mixture of gases that we breathe and that carries sound waves. This invisible ocean of air is essential for the transmission of sound. When we talk, sing, or clap our hands, we create vibrations in the air around us. These vibrations are essentially disturbances that propagate through the air. These vibrations travel outward like ripples in a pond, carrying the sound energy to our ears. The energy moves through the air, allowing us to hear. Think about throwing a pebble into a calm lake. The impact creates waves that spread out in all directions. You see ripples spread outwards from the point of impact. This is a visual analogy for how sound waves move through the air. Sound travels in a similar way, using the air as its medium. Without this medium, sound cannot travel. Each ripple or sound wave is a compression and rarefaction of air molecules, transferring energy as they move. This back and forth motion is what we perceive as sound. The denser the medium, the faster sound travels. This is because molecules are closer together, allowing energy to transfer more efficiently. This is why sound travels faster in water than in air. Water's density facilitates quicker energy transfer. In space, however, there is no air, no water, no medium for sound to travel through. This is why space is silent. There is nothing to carry the sound waves. Imagine trying to shout underwater, your voice would sound muffled and travel a shorter distance. This is because water, while denser than air, still provides resistance to sound waves. Now imagine trying to shout in a vacuum chamber, a space completely devoid of air. What would you hear? Absolutely nothing. Your vocal cords would vibrate but with no air molecules to carry the vibrations, no sound would be produced. This is the reality of space. It's the ultimate vacuum chamber, a place where sound as we understand it cannot exist. Section 4. The Vacuum of Space. An empty stage for sound. Space is incredibly vast and mostly empty. It's a near-perfect vacuum, meaning it contains very few particles. Without these particles, there's nothing for sound waves to vibrate. It's like trying to play a guitar without strings. No matter how hard you strum, there is no medium to create the music. This absence of a medium is what makes space so eerily silent. While we can see the beauty and wonder of distant stars and galaxies, we cannot hear the cosmic events unfolding millions of light years away. Section 5. Silent Cinema, Experiencing Space Without Sound. This cosmic silence, however, shouldn't be interpreted as a lack of activity. The universe is teeming with energy and motion, even if we can't hear it. On the contrary, the universe is a dynamic and energetic place, filled with exploding stars, colliding galaxies, and black holes warping the fabric of space-time. These events are monumental and awe-inspiring, even in their silence. It's just that all of this happens without a soundtrack, at least not one that we can hear with our ears. The silence of space is profound and absolute. Imagine watching a silent film of a bustling city. The visuals are there, but the sounds are missing. You see cars rushing by, people talking and laughing, construction workers hammering away, but you hear nothing. The scene is vibrant yet eerily quiet. This is what it's like to experience space. The vastness of the cosmos unfolds in front of us, but in complete silence. We rely on instruments and telescopes to translate these cosmic events into data that we can then visualize and analyze. These tools are our ears in the silent expanse. It's through these tools that we can begin to comprehend the silent symphony of the universe. They help us to hear the music of the cosmos, even if it's not audible in the traditional sense. Section 6. The Universe's Silent Symphony. A Final Thought. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, take a moment to truly appreciate the vastness above you. Remember that the universe is a silent movie, a grand spectacle unfolding without a single sound. It's a place of breathtaking visuals and incredible phenomena, where every star and galaxy tells a story. All of this is happening in the quietest of ways, a silent dance of celestial bodies. But don't let the silence fool you. 
there's an incredible amount of activity and energy out there. The universe is far from being empty or boring, it's teeming with life and motion, it's a place of constant motion and change, where new stars are born and old ones fade away. A place where the laws of physics orchestrate a silent symphony, a cosmic ballet that never ceases. This symphony is both awe-inspiring and humbling, reminding us of our place in the grand scheme of things. And while we may never hear its music with our ears, we can sense its presence in other ways. We can certainly feel its rhythm in our hearts and minds, a silent beat that resonates within us. As we continue to explore its infinite wonders, we become part of this grand, silent symphony. 